you are an ass and you will always be an ass and you will end the course of your life as an ass and as far as I can tell, your life will reach its final day before you accept and realize that you are an animal. Miguel de Cervantes, Don Quixote de la Mancha. Hello and welcome back again. Chapter 11 functions like an allegorical review of chapter 10, except that it is even more dark and diabolical. Don Quixote is in such shock, completely beside himself, that he has let Rocinante go free. Sensing the liberty that was granted him, he paused at every step to graze on the green grass which grew so abundantly in those fields. The color green dominates part two. What could it mean? Sancho tries to animate his master. What the devil is this? What's this moodiness? Are we here or in France? Let Satan make off with all the Dulcineas in the world. Don Quixote objects to Sancho's blasphemy and takes full responsibility for Dulcinea's transformation. Speak no blasphemies against that enchanted lady, for her disgrace and misfortune are all my fault. Her evil tribulations arise from the envy those villains have for me. He also continues to dismantle Sancho's verbal portrait of Dulcinea. You said she had eyes of pearls, but eyes that are like pearls are more properly those of a bream fish than a lady. And according to what I believe, the eyes of Dulcinea must be as green as emeralds and almond shaped with two celestial arches for eyebrows. In what is now a familiar tactic, Sancho's reply is a kind of absurd jujitsu. I was just as disturbed by her beauty as you were by her ugliness. Did you know the typical protagonist of 19th century romantic novels is an emotional lover? Sancho says they should press ahead, and Don Quixote is about to reply, but he was prevented from doing so by a cart that appeared in the road loaded with the most diverse and strange personages and figures that one could imagine. There are six figures, the devil, who drives the cart, together with death, an angel with large painted wings, an emperor with a crown apparently of gold on his head. At the feet of death was the god known as Cupid, and finally, a knight in full armor, except wearing a hat with multicolored feathers. This reads like a complex version of Durer's famous woodcut, Night, Death, and the Devil. Don Quixote confronts these figures, just as he would have done in part one. The devil informs Don Quixote that they are a theatrical troupe headed to a nearby town to perform an auto sacramental, a one-act play, the Assembly of Death, in celebration of a festival held eight days after the feast of Corpus Christi. In which region of Spain is Zaragoza found? A. Aragon. B. Andalusia. C. Castilla-La Mancha. Correct answer, A. Aragon. He also indicates that they work for a theater director named Angulo el Malo, a man who actually appears in Cervantes' novella, The Colloquy of the Dogs, of 1605. Another curious detail here is the devil's reference to a woman, perhaps Angulo el Malo's wife, which the narrator did not mention in his initial description of the troupe. That woman, who is the director's wife, plays the queen. It would seem that there are really seven allegorical figures. Don Quixote accepts the explanation, repeating the theme of St. Thomas, as soon as I saw this wagon, I imagined that some great adventure was awaiting me, and now I say that it is necessary to touch appearances with one's hands in order to allow for disillusionment. Note that Don Quixote is now a radically different character than he was in part one. He is easily disenchanted, that is, inclined to let reality trump his chivalric fantasies. By the way, disillusionment here, or desengaño, is the defining theme of the Baroque period. By the way, again, the term Baroque derives from a Portuguese term for an imperfectly shaped pearl. That's all for now. We'll see each other in our next video. If you liked this video and want to continue learning more about the knight errant Don Quixote de la Mancha, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Also, you can enroll in our free online course on Don Quixote by clicking here.